There we are. Damn us. Hey. Yeah, the ISP decided that we should not have this discussion. <laughs> Oh, this move is really this this bullshit move spamming. Them, they, 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 why do they always include a bullshit fight in every bullshit character fight in every Castlevania? No one likes this. No matter how they are done. Yes. Can I please? Did you decide now that I was too good for you or? <laughs> Asshole. You can actually stop now. You idiot. Oh, this. I forgot to cross. Can he stop spamming? These moves are really annoying, and that he do doesn't die is annoying too. I hate perfect enemies. Oh, finally! Ah, oh, this is so annoying. This shit. It's. You didn't have to say more to that matter. <laughs> or <laughs> we are nowhere. Safe point. I 
could bet that the last boss is actually easier than no way to kill her all. That's cool. Cool variation of a mimic. Yeah. 
next level soon. Level 1 zu Nordes Dimension because I find it pretty much boring. <laughs> We are the boss. <laughs> Not alone. Oh, of course not. Of course, I, I could predict that line. <laughs> oh, I did actually.
Super Bowl. Oh, die Bad Ending. Oh, the bad ending. <laughs> Actually, they have done an interesting thing because they, the default is the okay ending and the bad ending is hidden as the good ending. Curry the kid? What? That was interesting, yeah, but a bit short, they could have kind of built up upon it. Can we please... They actually don't let me skip the credits. Uh, yeah, there we agree. <laughs> a bad ending should still be kind of... I, I don't know whether fulfilling is the right term now. And satisfying is obviously also not that true. An ending should be always be a bit... It should give you the feeling that, that it's an ending and there uh, is... Or should be interesting. Obviously, a bad ending or something like that should leave leave it as open to to create interest in you to see the other thing. It's kind of, I mean, I think doing that right is is really super super hard. Yeah, yeah, the problem is if you make it fulfilling, then you obviously create the, uh, yeah, the, uh, you create the feeling that you don't need to know more now or whatever, because it's fulfilling and satisfying. Yeah, satisfying maybe, yeah, but not fulfilling. <laughs> By the way, not able to, being able to skip a long dialogue text in, uh, before an enemy is... Horrible. Uh. So let's do it better. I, I saved that stage just to not see that shit again and again. Dead summon. Dead undodgeable bullshit. Opinion I have to accept, but uh. I mean I I agree that like Castlevania does it is not the perfect way, obviously. Because it always I mean I would never guess that I had to do more, that's the main problem with me. Of course, how, how would you know, you know? The endings, except for Symphony of the Night, are always enough to say, okay, uh, that's... Oh, obviously I've beat this thing and, you know. Super. Mm. 
Oh, this... This weapon is so dissatisfying. I mean, it is strong, but this... The usage is super dissatisfying. Because you're always stuck on the ground after using it for a, a sub-second. Oh. Such irrational moving dragons I also don't like, but it's okay, I guess. Do I even have to beat that, by the way? I have no clue how to beat that. I just beat what I can. that you're, you, you are just not able to dodge this dragon because it's absolutely impossible to find out where he appears. But it's a kind of okay boss. Like the system works, it's kind of okay. Was it the final boss now? I was never at your shop, Hammer. So that was still not the best ending, because best ending means 100% souls. Grinding for souls is just not that great, I think. So that's actually a, a, um, an example for how to not do the best ending, because this grinding enemies for souls and getting 100%, I mean, I have f about 40 now or something. That's not great. Yeah, other than that, uh, yeah, I think the story itself is really... <laughs> I mean, some have actually said that the story in this thing is awesome. I think not, I mean... It works out for Castlevania because the gameplay is amazing. The graphics are cool for a Game Boy Advance thing. I would actually play PC games which are made like this. The Yeah, the system is cool. The sound is quite good for Game Boy Advanced. So as a game, this works out very well. I wish it would be longer. <laughs> it is, it is... Just random babbling for me, I mean... I've seen... I mean, I wouldn't even know what point here is that interesting, because, I mean, it's missing about everything which makes the story interesting. <laughs> It 
didn't have a real climax. I mean, it was not that surprising in some of the details, but maybe I've, I've seen too many stories. And there's just not a lot of story in it. I mean, hmm. for a video game it works out, but hmm. I don't know. I mean, I, 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 it's not. I don't criticize it for being totally bad or whatever. It is story. It's just not. I mean, I've read beforehand that uh, about people who praise the story of this, and I, uh, sorry, there's nothing to praise here. <laughs> it's, it's, oh well. It did, I mean... Hmm. I want more energy, what? <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Special, that's what we are looking for. Uh, so, boss rush and sound, but the usual stuff. No, actually not. I mean, actually the beginning was quite nice because, I mean, when the first uh, line is the year is 2035, they've won. The beginning was actually not that bad for until I entered the castle, uh, castle but then, I mean, summing it up, it was like six, seven, eight dialogues, let's say ten dialogues, which led to the ending of, okay, you are Dracula, I mean, I've seen that coming. <laughs> and then you fight Chaos, okay. And then you got out. I mean, that's basically everything to it. So I wouldn't even call it a story because, yeah, there are no... <laughs> Oh well, <laughs> this ends in this Castlevania. Where are we? Area yeah, of Sorrow. Next up is actually, let's see whether we can play it. Next up should be a PS2 game, Lemon of Innocence, but I, I will test it first, so give me some minutes. thing is you are pointing out the the story points which is right and that you like it is okay too but what you said now was handled in really like three dialogues and it's not like some some big drama or whatever it's it's like oh you're Dracula I have to kill you now no please don't kill me or whatever or you didn't give it all whatever I mean it's not like some you know <laughs> Some big ass story which took place here, it's really just one dialogue. <laughs> and Alucard helping was really just. He came. I mean, there were, were exactly three encounters with Alucard. The first Alucard, where he said, yeah, blah blah blah, this is the castle, I have some business to do. The second, um, I don't even know what he said there. And the third one. Uh, I really don't want to kill you. I've set you on this path in motion, whatever. I mean... The, the story in general could work out, yeah. The, the general direction of the story is okay, but they should have included way more story. I mean, way more storytelling for it to be interesting. The, the, the general idea of the story, yeah, I, I agree. The general idea is quite cool. It was interesting, yeah, but... <laughs> it's like reading a, a two-page short story and... Yeah, it, it can have a super good idea, but I mean, yeah, it's still just not a lot of text <laughs> to support it. 
Uwe. Which is okay, I mean... That's generally what you should do with video games, I mean... But, uh, yeah... <laughs> <laughs> you should not lie to you about the things the, the game is actually giving to you. <laughs> I mean, if you have created your own story out of these uh, general points, that's great. <laughs> that's extremely great. Uh, yeah. I have to test some, some shit to get the, uh, the next game running. So I'd say give me at least 15 minutes... And then I'm back with the next Castlevania. Yeah, like I said, I mean, that's actually a good feat to have. I think if the game would have been created like that, that you have to fill stuff. Oh, yeah, then rest well. See each other again. When you wake up, or well, we will see how how tired I am, or when I'm tired. But yeah, have a good one. Oh, by the way, Blind Fox is user of the month. How did he turn user of the month? Great. <laughs> the system is doing weird decisions. I haven't seen Blind Fox in two weeks, actually, or whatever. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> nice for him. The, the, the system doesn't lie, but interesting. Whatever this concludes, Area of Sorrow. <laughs> the cats are comfortable. <laughs> 